I'm Becca and today I am at the Midnight Apothecary and we are at Brunel Museum. Now I've heard there's an exciting event going on tonight and it's in a secret garden. Let's go and find out what it's all about. We are the Midnight Apothecary. We do seasonal botanical cocktails based on what grows in our lovely garden. It's an edible garden. Um, we all our drinks that garnished with edible garnishes. Uh, I like to think of it as kind of like a drink and a snack at. Um, you get all sorts of interesting things. We pick a lot from the garden, we forage locally, but the idea is that you can come here. It's like a secret hidden garden. It's an oasis of calm in a really crazy city. You can get a beautiful cocktail, toast some marshmallows in the campfire that we've got in the background there and generally relax and enjoy your evening with friends. And goodness knows you need a little snack as well after some of these cocktails because whoo! Well, they do pack a punch, but we think that if you're going to do a cocktail, do it properly. We don't scrimp on measures, and I think that's the way it should be. That is what we think also. That is the message here today. But that's not all we have here as well, is it? There's other things that are going on. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, the site, here we are in this garden that was this sort of wild space on top of the, what is called the Grand Entrance Hall to the Thames Tunnel, which was the world's first ever underwater tunnel, which was built, I think it was finished in 1843. Um, so as part of your entry into this, you get a tour of the space downstairs and a talk about the Brunel son and father and son, Isambard and Mark, um, who did this, which at the time was called like the eighth wonder of the world. It was like an amazing feat of engineering at the time. So we're at a really iconic piece of structure here. Can you tell me a little bit about the Brunel Museum and what we have going on? The crucial thing here is that very near to this building is the first tunnel under a river anywhere in the world, built by Marc Isambard Brunel between 1825 and 1843. His son, the very famous Isambard King of Brunel, it was his first professional job, but he nearly drowned after six months here, so his father sent him away. Um, this tunnel was put here originally because there was so much congestion on the River Thames. There were 3,000 at least sailing ships every day on the river and there was piracy and it was chaos. They thought by building a tunnel they would reduce the congestion. It was never really used for that. It came quite by chance to being the first kind of Disney style visitor attraction in the world. It was known as the eighth one of the world, opened in 1843 and the first day it opened 50,000 people came. Everybody claimed including Queen Victoria. Well, I've had a lovely evening at the Midnight Apothecary. Everyone has been having a few drinks in the beautiful garden and I got to see an iconic piece of structure here at the Brunel Museum. Now it's time for me to have my own drink and perhaps a little toasted marshmallow. Ivan Becker reporting for you.